How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Six versus six. Today we're using the Galade team again, so hopefully it goes well. If you want to try the team out, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. There'll also be a copy and paste of the team for showdown in the description. And please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Okay, today we're battling against Steven, also known as S7 from the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. Looking at the teams, um, they've got the Chimpow, which is obviously a big threat. Um, what Chimpow is one of the Pokemon that I did struggle to build around. Um, it is a, it's a tough Pokemon to counter, that's for sure. Uh, Goldengo, we should be able to handle just fine. Dragonite, I can expect some normal extreme speed stuff going on. Now, looking at their team, I would say they probably lead with something to counter my lead. My lead's more than likely going to be the Dragapult or the Amoongus to get a Spore off since they don't have a Grass type. So, they might lead with Chen Pao. Um, if they do, we can always lead with Lycan Row and go for something else. But I'm going to lead with Mustang, the uh, Iron Treads, um, and try and get the Stealth Rocks up. I think that's probably the best course of action right now. And the battle begins, so my opponent Steven's going to lead off with the Garchomp, as I, it's going to go right through the floor, as I led off with the Iron Treads, but we do have the Air Balloon, so we don't have to worry too much about this um, particular matchup. Um, we don't have Ice Spinner on this particular one, I don't have Stealth Frogs on it either actually, never mind. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to switch straight out, I'm going to go into my Amoongus um, real quick, and that way we can try and get a Spore off on something. Spore on the Garchomp would be nice, Spore on the Champau would be even better, so... Hopefully we bait a switch here um, into the said Chien Pao. That would be ideal. Then we get a free switch into Gallade and finish them off. So we're going to go for a Stealth Rox as expected, which is absolutely fine. I don't mind the Stealth Rox at the moment. At the moment. Um, as I'm going to go for a Spore now. And hopefully we can get some Spore action going on. They go for a Spikes. Absolutely fine. I can always bring my Iron Treads in later on um, and get a Rapid Spin off. So I'm not worried too much about the Hazards right now. Focusing on getting this thing to sleep. So there we go. Down it goes to sleep. Um, don't see any problem with that play in particular. Going to switch out into my Dragapult. Uh, Dragapult hits everything on their team bar the um, Iron Valiant and the Gold Dengo for super effective damage with... Uh, well, not super effective, but hits a lot of the team with Dragon Darts. So, going to get some stones and spikes digging into us, which is a real shame. But what can you do? As the Garchomp is, of course, fast asleep because you're always guaranteed one turn of sleep. Um, now I'll just go straight for a Dragon Darts here, or do they switch out? I'm going to play it safe and go with a Dragon Darts play. If they go into the um, if they go into the Iron Valiant, we can always switch out into Amoongus. They do stay in and they're going to let the Garchomp go down to a Dragon Darts, which is absolutely fine. It was obviously a bit risky for them to switch out at all. I could have easily predict the Iron Valiant and gone for a Terra Ghost there, or a Shadow Ball as well they might have been expecting. Um, but we are a Choice Banded Dragapult. In comes Chen Pao, so... We do outspeed this thing, but Sucker Punch is obviously a big, um, uh, well, Sucker Punch is obviously a big chance. Um, I'm going to expect the Sucker Punch, and I'm going to go ahead and switch out now into, what do we go into here? We do one-shot this thing with Dragon Darts, but they're going to go for a Sucker Punch, right? See, Chin Power is such a hard Pokemon to switch into right now. Um, I'm thinking we could go Mothrobot. No, Mothrobot's a bad play. Bad play. Ice Spinner still what, three it KOs, two it KOs us. Um, not sure what to do. Let's go into Iron Treads and we'll hope that they go for a Sucker Punch here. It might be a bit obvious that we're going to switch out, but at the same time, it's whatever. So we'll go into Iron Treads. If Iron Treads goes down, Iron Treads goes down. I don't think it will though. I think we should be fine here. Um, hopefully they go for a Sucker Punch. They went for a Crunch, so they were just. That gets a crit as well, which takes out the Iron Treads, unfortunately. So, that's a shame. What can you do, though? What can you do? So, with that in mind, um, let's try and get a Surprise Factor Paladin in. Uh, I say Surprise Factor because, basically, we're a Choice Scarf, so we outspeed. Um, which means we should be able to get a Surprise Sacred Sword on them, which would be ideal. Um, ideal. Um, Sacred Sword should come through for us. We might see a switch in something else here, like the Annihilate. Um, if we do, I could go for the Psycho Cut expecting that. No, we go for a Sacred Sword here. We definitely go for a Sacred Sword here. They might go for a Sucker Punch to try and get some more damage off on us, but nice. This is fine. We're going to withdraw the Chien Pao. What are they going to go into? If they go into the Annihilate, we can deal with that. Um, they go into the Goldengo, obviously expecting a fighting type move. It's fair enough. Gallade's not going to be that great this game. Um, purely for the fact that they have um, a lot of things that resist fighting. 
Um, they do have the Annihilate, which will be useful to get rid of with the Psycho Cut later on down the line. But now that they've gone into this thing, the Goldengo, we can just go ahead and switch out into our... What do we go into? <laughs> what do we go into here? They go for a Shadow Ball, right? Um, I want to go into Sylveon. But they could easily go for a Make It Rain. Sylveon's not doing too much for us this game. Iron Treads was my main switch into a... Goldengo is a tough Pokemon to deal with as well. A very tough Pokemon to deal with as well. Um, Gallade at the end of the day is not doing too much for us this game. I'd rather get a free switch in with something else. But I'm going to bank on the Shadow Ball. And I'm going to switch into our Sylveon. I don't think they'll go for Make It Rain because of the stat drop. So hopefully we catch this thing with a Shadow Ball. That'd be ideal. Um, as they go for... What are they going to go for? Shadow Ball. Cool. Shadow Ball's ideal. We're especially defensive. We should take it pretty well as we do. We haven't seen an item on this thing, so I have to assume it's Choice because they usually Choice Scarf or Choice Specs. That was definitely not Choice Specs damage, though. Um, as I'm going to go ahead and expect them to switch out. Mm, no, because they don't have a very good switch in. I'm going to go for a Trashalize Fire. And go for that because I I, I think this I think they either change up moves here or they switch out into something else. Um, but if it's if it's Chen Pao, yeah, they're staying in. They're gonna go for a make it rain. They're not choiced. That's fine. That's fine. If we can get the KO on this Goldengo, that's ideal. That is ideal. So we'll get the flame on, and um, that, that way we're gonna eat up and make it rain like it's nothing. That's what that's that's the play. They go for another Shadow Ball, which is interesting. So that's fine. Does a lot of damage to us um, as we go for a Terror Blast now, which should take it out. Might not, actually. It doesn't take him out. Okay, that's fine. So that's fine. Um, we do get some leftovers recovery, at least, which is nice. I'm going to go for a Wish here. No. We go straight for the Hyper Voice, just in case they switch out. They're going to withdraw the Gold Dango. Okay, anything they bring in now... We'll get one shot, well, not one shot necessarily, but we'll get damaged by the Hyper Voice a lot. So in comes the Annihilate, which is great. Hyper Voice should do a lot of damage to that. Does half, which is great, which tells me they're a bulky Annihilate, which is interesting. Probably going to see a bulk up now. Probably going to see a bulk up now. Um, if we do, that's fine. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. So I'm thinking we go straight into Amoongus here. We took out the Garchomp, which means we can put something to sleep, which is ideal. Cognito is going to come in. We should be able to sponge a hit from a Rage Fist. Um, uh, they probably go for a bulk up, though, um, as we're going to get hit by some spikes and stealth rocks and stuff. They go for a rest. Interesting. So are they Chesto Resto? Are they Chesto Resto? Probably Chesto Resto, right? They are Chesto Resto. So... I'm, I'm inclined to believe that they go into Goldengo here to take a um, Spore. So I'm tempted to go for a Foul Play. Um, because if the Goldengo gets a free switch in, it's going to hurt something on my team. Something's going to have to die. So I'm going to go for a Foul Play. I think that's the best play. They go ahead and withdraw the Annihilate into the Goldengo, I'm home, I'm assuming. The Goldengo comes in because it's immune to Spore. Hopefully Foul Play is enough to KO. That would be an ideal. It is enough to KO. As down goes the Goldengo. Absolutely brilliant play if I do say so myself. There we go. That's a... Alright, cool. So Goldengo's out of the way. All we have to really worry about now is the Chen Pao. And we have to worry about the Dragonite setting up. And we have to worry about the Annihilate setting up. And we have to worry about the... <laughs> you get the point. This team is full of threats. But I think we're dealing with it pretty well. Chen Pao comes in. Now... I would assume they don't have Sucker Punch if they've got Crunch. I would assume. But it's not a safe assumption. Now, we can go into our Sylveon and sack it. That would be a decent one. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because Sylveon's getting one shot by everything on there anyway now. Now that the health it's at, and they're all physical attackers. One of them's a Chien Pao. So Sylveon's got to die. There is a chance we live this if it's a nice spinner they go for. Um, there is a chance, but obviously Spikes and Stealth Rock. No, there isn't a chance, actually, yeah. Spikes and Stealth Rocks just ruin that. 
And I don't think there was a chance anyway, to be honest with you, with um, his uh, Blades of Ruin, I can't remember what they're called. So Sylveon unfortunately has to go down there, but it's fine. Sylveon did work there. Weaken the Goldengo, um, weaken the Annihilate, force it to pop its Chesto Berry, which is great. Um, now we can go into our Gallade. We can go into our Gallade and friend this thing out. Now, I'm tempted to go for a Psycho Cut, expecting one of the other Pokemon to come in. Um, but at the same time, we don't mess around with frets. So I want to go for a Sacred Sword. They might stay in now that we're on lower HP. Um, if they do go for a Sucker Punch here, we know they've got Sucker Punch and we're kind of screwed. They're going to withdraw the Chen Power. What are they going to go into? Expecting a, a Dragonite, maybe? Iron Valiant. How well are you going to take a Sacred Sword from a Sharpness? Oh my god, look how big Gallade is compared to it. Wow! So we haven't seen a booster energy, which means... We can safely spoo uh, safely bo um, safely come into the Amoongus. Gallade's so tall compared to the Iron Valiant. Oh my lord. There we go. Going to withdraw Gallade. Um, Gallade's going to be great for later. Hopefully. It'll be great for taking out that um, nice and powerful Annihilate over there. If we can get it in there. So Amoongus is like a perfect counter to the uh, Iron Valiant over here. We get a free spore now, which is great. Um, Goldengo's gone, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's go for spore and just get something to sleep. They go for another Moonblast, absolutely fine. Happy with that. Go for a spore, put it to sleep. There we go. Now we, that, now we can work around it. Now we can work around it. So I'm fully expecting them to be Choice Scarfed, by the way, um, based on the damage they've been outputting. I'm going to go for a clear smog just to get some damage off on them because they have really, they have pretty weak special defense and this clear smog should do a lot of damage to them. That way we can, t it takes it out. I knew it's special attack, special defense was weak, but I didn't think it was that weak. Oh my Lord. Amoongus with the power. <laughs> so now they're going to chimp out obviously and take us out. Um, I can't really afford anything else with the immune, with taking that. So they actually bring in the Dragonite, which is fair enough. Is the Dragonite Lumberry? Um, I go for a Clear Smog just in case they Dragon Dance. If they Dragon Dance, I don't want them Dragon Dancing on me. That's that's the main thing. So they go for an Ice Spinner, which is fine. That's going to take out our Cognito, unfortunately. But this gives us an opportunity. An opportunity to go into the Dragapult. Now, Dragapult outspeeds Chen Pao by like one base speed point. Provided they are... Um... Not Suck Punch, which I don't think they are because they would have used it earlier. We should be able to win with our Dragapult. Potentially. So we go for a Dragon Dart here. If they switch into Annihilate, that's more ideal because then we get to two-shot that thing. They're actually going to Terrestrialize. Wow. Uh, okay, so that's unfortunate. I forgot all about Terrestrialization. But again, again, you can't really expect Terrestrialization. It's one of them weird things. But you can't expect it. So... Dragonite is going to Trashalize into a normal type, which is a real shame as we go for the Dragon Darts. Does good damage, I guess. Not really. Not not the ideal damage as they go for an Ice Spinner and that's going to take us out. I made a bit of a blunder there. I should have expected them to Trashalize into a normal type because that is a really common... I even said at the beginning of the video, Trashalize normal, Dragonite is coming. Trashalize normal, Dragonite is coming. Trashalize normal, Dragonite is coming. It's coming, but I didn't do anything about it. So, now I'm worried because I don't think we can take Extreme Speed with Mothra Bot or the Gallade. I think Dragonite kind of pulls this back for them now. I think Dragonite pulls this back for them, so we might get a, we might get a loss this game. We get the Quark Drive, which does boost our special attack. Um, we do outspeed the Dragonite as well, but Stealth Rocks and Spikes are going to make it so that we can't live another hit. So, I'm going to go for the Fiery Dance. And uh, hope for the best. They go for the extreme speed. Is it going to take us out? It does. Am I confident that we're going to win this now? Not so much. Not so much. Because we have to lock ourselves into something here. We either lock ourselves into Sacred Sword and can't KO the Annihilate. Or we lock ourselves into Psycho Cut and we can't KO the Chan Pao. And extreme speed is going to KO us anyway. So I've officially lost this game. So that's unfortunate, but my opponent had a really solid team. 
They played extremely well, and there was not really much I could do there. They had a lot of Pokemon that my team's weak to, like Chen Pao. I mean, whose team isn't weak to Chen Pao? My opponent's team is weak to Chen Pao. <laughs> you know, and they've got one. <laughs> So it's like, what can you do? What can you do? Like, literally, if I had a Chien Pao and I got rid of their Chien Pao, I would plow through their team. You know, Dragonite might do a bit of damage. Annihilate might live one attack. But Chien Pao is just ridiculous. So anyway, um, thank you for the battle, Steven. That was a pretty good, good game. I enjoyed that. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.